from Essex Public Library and welcome to Storytime at Home. Let's begin with our welcome song, The More We Get Together, and use the signs that we've learned from American Sign Language, or A-S-L. That's the language that people who live in North America and can't hear use to talk to each other with. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And how about a little bread and butter? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello! Well, I wonder what in our world our story is going to be about today. Hmm, I wonder who we could ask. What's that? Brown Bear, that's a great idea. The only problem is that Brown Bear is still asleep. Hey, on the count of three, can you help me call out, wake up, brown bear, and we'll see if we can get him to rise. One, two, three. Wake up, brown bear. I see some movement. He's getting out of bed. Oh, and now he is combing his fur and brushing his teeth buttoning up his shirt and tying his bow, and here he comes. Brown Bear Buddy, welcome to story time. We have a question for you. Do you know what our story is going to be about today? He says it's a tale about tails. Uh, like my shirt? Oh, tails and tails. You mean like a tail like on the bunny and a tail like a story time is that right a story i mean that's what he's talking about and he brought some friends to show us some tales let's take a look oh, here comes somebody right now scamper 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 who is this little guy a squirrel does a squirrel have a tail for sure. Oh, oh, here comes somebody flying on in. Do you know who this is? An eagle. Does an eagle have a tail? Absolutely. Oh, somebody is creeping on in. Who is this little guy? Oh, do you know? They come out at night. An opossum. Does an opossum have a tail? Sure does. Oh, a 
And then we have a somebody who is really slow. It's taking his time coming to see us. Oh. Turtle. Does a turtle have a tail? What do you think? A turtle has a tail. Does my turtle have a tail? My turtle has a tail on its shirt. I see, those are tails. But what about the other tails? Oh, tails like a story. This is a tale about a dog and a cat. And then here's another fun tale that we have at the library. How do dinosaurs choose their pets? Look, this dinosaur has a tail and his pet has a tail too. And then we have good tales about chameleons with tails, type of lizard, and mama tiger, tiger cub, a tale about them. And here is another story or another tale about little blue truck. So this summer at the library, we're celebrating tales and tales with lots of good books and lots of fun things for you and your family to do together. So swing on by the library and you can find out more about activities you can do and events you can go to and we would be happy to find you a tale about a tale. Well, I thought it would be nice to start with an action rhyme about an animal with a tail. A friendly one, my dog Rags. I'll show you how to do it and then you can do it with me, okay? I've got a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his belly sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he zigzags. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. I love rags and he loves me. Are you ready to try it with me? You can stand up and really wag your tail if you'd like. Ready? I've got a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his belly sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he zigzags. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. I love rags and he loves me. Do you have a dog that you can give a hug? I love rags. Well, many of us have dogs at home, but some of us have other pets. What pets do you have at your house? You have a fish? So cool, they have tails. You have a guinea pig. Do guinea pigs have tails? Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to go look in a book. Oh, what's that? You have a lizard? Oh, a lizard has a really long tail. Oh, those bearded dragons, they really have long tails. Oh, and a cat. Oh, cats have tails, don't they? Let's do the kitty pokey together. How about that, all right? You can stand up or you can stay seated. We're gonna go like this. Let's make some whiskers on our faces. You put your whiskers in, you put your whiskers out, you put your whiskers in, and you shake it all about. You do the kitty pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. What else do kitties have? How about your little paws. You put your little paws in, you put your little paws out, you put your little paws in and you shake them all about. You do the kitty pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. What else
else do they have? They have a slinky tail. You put your slinky tail in, you put your slinky tail out, you put your slinky tail in, and you shake it all about. You do the kitty pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Meow. How is everybody feeling today? Oh, you're feeling hot? Is it hot at your house today? It's been hot here today. I hope it rains soon. What else? You're feeling happy? Well, then let's get started with if you're happy and you know it. You ready to clap your hands? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. How about stomp your feet? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. How about say hooray? If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Are you ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! If you're ready for a story, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! If you're ready for a story, then I'm ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! Our story today is Animals Brag About Their Bottoms. Written by Maki Saito and published by Greystone Books. I've waited a long time to share this book with you. It's so exciting. We're going to meet all of these animals who think their bottoms are the most fantastic bottoms. And it's hard to argue with them because they're all pretty fancy. Who do you see on the book cover? Can you tell from looking at their backs? Yeah, I see a tiger too. And, and there's a zebra. What about this big guy? Do you know who that is? Maybe an elephant, you think? Hmm, we'll have to read and find out. I wonder if you know who the others are. Let's see what we can find out. Oh, there are those words again. Animals brag about their bottoms. Who is this right here? It says, look at my bottom. My bottom is such a round bottom and so cute, don't you think? I have a round bottom too. So round and so big. Do you know who this is? The hippopotamus, let's look. Just look. My goodness. My bottom's even bigger. So much bigger. Is that even possible? <gasps> look how big. That's pretty big. Look at our bottoms. They're covered in stripes. Stripes of all kinds. Don't our bottoms look stylish? Stylish means fancy. And yes, they do look fancy, don't you think? What about my bottom? Is it patterned like the rest of me? Does it look like the rest of the giraffe? What do you think? Me too. Our bottoms are 
white, black, and black and white. Do you recognize any of these animals? Hmm, how about this one? This one I think is a tapir. I can tell by his long nose. Our bottoms are the same color as our faces. Did our faces copy our bottoms? Or did our bottoms copy our faces? Well, I'll be. Look at that. They're right. And look at this one, so beautiful and colored. Fancy, a fancy baboon. Hmm. Line up, line up. Heart-shaped bottoms all in a row. Can you see the hearts? Oh my goodness, they do look like hearts, don't they? What type of animals do you think these are? Can you tell? Here's a clue. Deer, aren't they? Our bottoms are fluffy bottoms. Even when it's cold, we stay warm. Can you see who these are? I see, I see some sheep. What about this big guy? Maybe that's a llama or maybe an alpaca? Our bottoms are tough bottoms. When something bangs against them, it doesn't bother us at all. Wow, those are look tough. And our bottoms are spiky bottoms. They're amazing too, don't you think? They're pretty amazing. Everyone's proud of their bottoms. They're all different. Such wonderful bottoms, each and every one. Well, I have to agree. They are some wonderful bottoms that we saw. They, we saw a rabbit, a hippopotamus, an Asian elephant, a tiger, a zebra, and a copy, a giraffe, a polar bear, an Asian black bear, a panda bear, oh, a Malayan tap tapir, a Japanese macaque, a mandrill, a deer, a sheep, an alpaca, an armadillo, an Indian rhinoceros, a hedgehog, and a porcupine. Wow, there are so many bottoms in the world that are different and beautiful. And it was fun to read them in this book. Wow, there were a lot of neat animals in that book, weren't there? Which one was your favorite? Oh, that was pretty nifty. Yep, you know, it makes me think about the song, If You're an Elephant and You Know It. Would you like to pretend to be an elephant with me? Then stand on up and we're gonna stomp like an elephant. Are you ready? If you're an elephant and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're an elephant and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're an elephant and you know it, then and you really want to show it. If you're an elephant and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. What if you were a monkey with a long tail? Could you jump up and down? If you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down, jump, jump. If you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down, jump, jump. If you're a monkey and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down, jump, jump. What if you were an alligator? Mm-hmm, and you had some big, jaws to snap with. If you're an alligator and you know it, snap your jaws, snap, snap. If you're an alligator and you know it, snap your jaws, snap, snap. 
If you're an alligator and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're an alligator and you know it, snap your jaws. Snap, snap. But what if you were a snake? Could you slither and hiss? If you're a snake and you know it, slither and hiss. If you're a snake and you know it, slither and hiss. If you're a snake and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a snake and you know it, slither and hiss. What if you were a tiger? Could you roar like one? If you're a tiger and you know it, give a roar, roar. If you're a tiger and you know it, give a roar, roar. If you're a tiger and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a tiger and you know it, give a roar, roar. Wow, there are a lot of fierce tigers out there. I think we have time for one more finger play. Let's do five little monkeys swinging from a tree. Here's our tree. And let's put up our monkeys. Can you count five with me? One, two, three, four, five. And they're gonna be swinging like this. Five little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of a tree. How many's left? One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps one monkey right out of that tree. How many are left? One, two, three. Three little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of that tree. How many are left? One, two. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of that tree. How many are left? One, that's right. One little monkey swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of that tree. How many more monkeys? Zero. No more monkeys. Well, friends, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too. It's time for our goodbye song, Wave High, Wave Low. Wave high, wave low. Now it's time we've got to go. Wave your elbows. Wave your toes, wave your tongue, and wave your nose. Wave your ears, and wave your eyes. Wave both hands and say goodbye. Bye friends, see you next time.